Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Freestyle Labre uh, sensor at this point. So you just open up the package. You're going to get an applicator, and then you're going to get the disc itself. First thing you want to do is clean the site and, and prepare the site that you're going to apply it. In dogs, we typically apply it on the back of the neck. So we've prepped an area already. We've clipped an area right here. And what I'm going to do is just clean that up with some alcohol. They supply these in the kit. And I'm going to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open the applicator, or the uh, disc rather. Here's my applicator. I'm going to turn this, line up the slot with the front of the disc itself, and I just push all the way down. That'll grab the disc. Now when I pull this out, you can see the disc with a little needle with the catheter there. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take and just put this right at my bare skin. I'm going to push down. I'm going to hold it now for, I tend to hold it for about 7 to 10 seconds just to let the, let the uh, adhesive stick. And then I pull that off and then the disc is firmly attached. Now at this point we tend to cover these up. I don't know that you have to, but we do at this point. So we just throw that around really loosely. And now that's uh, ready to go. So the next step is to take your reader. And when you turn your reader on for the first time, once you've started, once you've set it, the time and date and that sort of thing, it's going to say, give you a choice of starting a new sensor. I have to have this reader sense that that sensor is there and connect with it and so that uh, this reader is only reading this sensor for the next 10 days. So I push start new sensor. It's looking for the sensor. I come over over the disc, it reads the sensor, and now it's going to give me, it's going to need 12 hours before I can start getting my readings. But, and so I just have to wait 12 hours. This is measuring interstitial fluid glucose. It's not measuring blood glucose. The interstitial fluid has, has a lag of about 15 minutes from what you're seeing with circulating blood. So if the blood sugar goes up quickly, you've got about 15 minutes before your reader is going to show this on, on the, uh, the reader. It gives you 24-7 curves. So you're going to see what happens is the sensor takes a reading every minute, and then it takes every 15 minutes and, and updates a, a chart, a graph. So you get a 24-7 graph for 10 days to... Uh, that you can look at at any time and see what the blood glucose is. When you scan the PET, the reader receives eight hours worth of data. So if you're, as long as you're scanning your PET three times a day, you're getting a continuous curve to look at, and you'll have data that goes back three months on, this, on the disc when, uh, if you've been using it three months on your PET. We use this in two ways. One, when we have a diabetic that uh, we're trying to do a glucose curve. We don't do glucose curves anymore. What we do now is we put one of these discs on the pet, we send them home, we have the owner reading the glucose levels, updating us, and then making adjustments in the dose during that 10 days, get them where we want them, and then we're done. We maintain that dose at that time point and take the disc off, and then every six months or so we see them back, put another disc on, and get a 10-day curve. The second thing that we're doing with this is in hospital, you have your diabetic borders and you do blood glucoses periodically, but you never really know what's happening at night and uh, when no one's there or um, at times when you're not testing. We 
have now, we make a policy that every diabetic boarder that comes into the hospital wears a disc. And we price it so that the owner pays really no more than they would have been paying if they were getting the daily glucose testing that we typically would have charged for anyway. If we put the disc on, it can actually be less for the owner and we have much better information and can see what's going on with blood glucoses at all times with diabetic boarders and make good decisions as their insulin needs changed while boarding. Now I'm going to show you how to get a reading. Uh, assuming that we this disc had been in there for um, the 12-hour um, period, you would just simply push the button, starts up, it'd get a, a spot, or it looks like this, and you just run it over the, the reader and then you get your number. Now in this case, it's still telling us to wait 12 hours, but it would have said, you know, 102 or whatever the glucose level is. And that's pretty much how the, the uh, these freestyle uh, library uh, continuous glucose monitors work in, in dogs. There was a study in Italy that shows that it's, it is safe and that, um, that it is accurate, that the numbers correlate well with the, with in-house te uh, glucose testing. Leave it at that.